if one thinks about uh, property rights, or if one thinks about the environment, or one thinks about uh, economic progress, one thinks about educational progress, uh, we do know that in uh, societies where uh, the freedom, the, the rights of the individual are not protected, uh, that we actually don't get particularly good outcomes. Now, why is that? Uh, that's, I, as you know, I spent a lot of my life studying um, a country that was born on uh, the premise uh, from each according to his talents to each according to his needs. That was the core of socialism. One thing that we know is that's only worked at gunpoint because it actually turns out not to be very uh, incentivizing to people to say you can work as hard as you possibly can according to your talents but we, and then the question becomes, who is the we, are going to determine what your needs are. And that's why that system has never produced uh, particularly good outcomes. If you take, for example, uh, questions about the environment, uh, back in the 70s and 80s, there used to be a sense that because these were collectivist notions of government, the environment would be protected better than if we had uh, capitalism uh, looking after the environment. I can tell you that the shock of what we found in the late 1980s and in the early 1990s in countries like Hungary, where the degradation of the uh, environment, just chemical spills of military materials just left out in the open. Uh, if you look at, uh, do you know, that the, actually the first uh, kind of uh, experiment with a little bit of democracy in the Soviet Union was around a, uh, an, an NGO that came together around the pollution of Lake Baikal because the pollution had been so significant and the government had done nothing about it. We can keep going, Chernobyl, you, you name it. Now, why is that? It's because what you have in a free society is multiple points at which those kinds of activities are going to be brought out into the open. Whether it's by elected officials or a free press or individual citizens who are going to get together and say that is wrong, free societies actually will be more protective of something like the environment than those socialist or collective, collectivists. So that's just one example of why when you protect freedom and you protect liberty and you protect everything from press freedom to uh, people who can question a, a corporation through shareholder uh, activities, you're going to get outcomes that are different than if you uh, depend on the we in that collective. And of course, the we always turns out to be a very small number of people at the top who make those decisions.